everyone, craft, craft, oh boy. Hi everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you. And today we're making some cards, um, but I'm totally obsessed with my owls and I wanted to make some cards using them so that I can put them in my Etsy store. And I have, these are the original that I did. Um, so I figured I would use these on the card. However, they're really big. <laughs> much bigger than the the small ones that I had done as stickers obviously you can see the difference in size so um, and I'm obsessed with my stickers I want to put them everywhere oh boy anyway so I will be making uh, five cards and those will be in my Etsy store and I'll be including uh, these sentiments with it so that it could be used on top of the cards if um, the person getting them wants that now because they're so big I had to choose to decide to make uh, some cards that were much bigger and I have these envelopes I checked and they are the uh, there are still regular size um, because I have one of those templates from uh, Canada Post that that shows what's regular size or what's not so this is just a regular stamp that you would be using on this and it's eight and three quarters by uh, five and three quarters so just so you have an idea and to make the cards I figured we would just use um, a plain uh, eight eight and a half by eleven um, you know folded in two so that's what we're gonna do now these are for matting and I thought I was gonna use these for the background because the owls are brown and I thought that'd be nice. Now the one thing I've pulled out my super fancy schmancy paper that I hoard, the one from Tim Holtz and I thought there might be some really pretty um, some really pretty paper that could be used um, for, for the cards. And I have to admit that this is pretty awesome. This wouldn't this one would really be good. Do I have two of this? Or only one because I've used the other one I guess. This is very pretty as well. It's a bit busy. That's good for um, for six by six, but not for what I want. I have another paper pack as well. I I totally hoard my Tim Holtz paper packs. So for me to pull this out, it's because I feel like those cards are really special, and I'm willing to to use very special paper with them oh that might be fun I think we'll go with this that might be very fun because we could use both both sides so I think I think we're gonna go with that but there's some really yummy paper in here too oh that one is really great as well what's on the other side Nah, I'm not sure that it's gonna work as well on the on the owls. Now I think we've got a winner here, and I'll pull out both sheets. Like these are special cards uh, for me to pull out my special Tim Holtz. I mean, it's because those cards are like, yeah, I'm I'm so. I know I've said it um, and and it seems like over the top to say how proud I am of my owls but I really am I love them so we're gonna use this I pulled out some um, some white paper because the inside of the card being brown like that obviously you can't you need to have something that you can write on right so we're gonna 
we're going to create that for the inside of the card. This is thicker cardstock than, than uh, construction paper. It, a little bit, but, but not as thick as usual cardstock. I'm trying to, because the, the cards are going to be so big, I don't want them to be too heavy. Because then you get you you get stuck having to pay extra shipping, which I don't want the cards to cost extra shipping to um, whoever would use them if they are to be used. Because I do know that some some folks hoard the cards they purchase from me, which is super sweet. I do that too, so <laughs> I hoard stuff all the time. I've pulled out this because I don't know if we'll be using some music paper. That might be fun to use music paper on top. Uh, put the paper there. So just, yeah, left that as a possibility. Okay, so we'll just take down measurements. Basically, I want I want about half an inch shorter. About half an inch that way. And I put all three because I could do I want I want to save some time in making this. I don't want the video to take forever because then it takes forever to edit and forever to upload and so on and so forth. So we'll put it over here and over here. Let's pull out the guillotine. If I do it like that, then I don't have to pull out the big one. I'll need to pull out the big one for the, the Tim Holtz paper though, because obviously that's not going to work. Got one here and just make a mark here. And I only I need two of this. I don't need that one. So here we go. And then that all of these at once. And voila. So that's going to be the first step. It will be to put these inside. So I hope it's nice where you are. Yesterday was a gorgeous, gorgeous, we're Sunday, um, April 11th, and I'm last minute for making this video, as usual. Um, but yesterday was such a beautiful day, such a beautiful day. I did some letter writing outside, um, and when I got in, I had put down my, my bag, and including the letters in it, and if you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, uh, on my Facebook page, you will have seen what Charlie did. He ate one of my pen pal en uh, envelopes with the letter inside. There was only half of the letter left. Thank God it was one of the ones that had, it was somebody that had it typed their letter because if it hadn't been that then I would have been stuck because of the fact that the um, 
I don't know what happened here. It's a bit of powder. Okay, so we'll put the paper here. The other side seems okay now. Um, so thank God she had she had uh, typed the letter so I could ask her for another copy electronically, but I was so embarrassed. Oh my God, I felt like a kid having to say, well, my, my dog ate my homework. Th thank God I, had, I, I could send her a picture. <laughs> Like, if you've seen the picture, you saw, like, he really ate half of my letter. I think Charlie likes paper just as much as I do. Either that, or he's jealous of me spending time with paper, and so he decided that he was going to eat it. I don't know. And then my pen pal said, well, oh, you have a pup. I go... No, he's 10. <laughs> yeah, there's no excuse for his behavior. I was, I was not happy. I was not a happy camper. Thank God it wasn't one of my pens because I'm seriously considering he would have ended up being a little uh, carpet in front of my fireplace. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, I was so upset, so upset. What you gonna do? They're, uh, it's kind of hard to, uh, I still love them, but, uh, oh, I was so frustrated. So upset. Oh, man. Okay, so, we're gonna do, I was thinking of doing some, some more layering. And maybe using that. And that would be pretty as well with this. I think or could I so I'm thinking of using that as like a strip on the card maybe but now that I'm back pulled out this card stock I'm wondering if I want to change what I've decided to do hmm and of course, you know, it's always when I've started already that I'm thinking of changing my mind. That could be pretty also. I think I, think I kind of prefer that. But I could layer with this. I was thinking more of a cream color. And I'm just looking to see if I've got cardstock that's cream color close by so that I don't have to go hunt for it. But of course, I'm not sure. I have that. Mm. I have green as well, but I'm not sure the green would go. That's the same as that. The green is not gonna go because that's blue, so that's gonna look strange. Yeah, it doesn't look as good. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this. It's probably my best bet. And then I'm not going to be able to put the paper back. Of course, because why would I? It'd be too easy. Okay, I was able to kind of put it back. I also have this cardstock, but that's the same color as that, so that's not going to help me. And, uh, no, I don't have anything else. I have, I say that, but that's not true, because in my bin of scraps, I should have, I should have some as well. 
Maybe there's some in here that I could use. Like there's that, obviously, but... Hmm. I'm pretty sure I had some bigger pieces. Oh, oh! I've got that. Just a big strip. I am that. That's a big strip. Same with this. I have this. A few of these. more of this so this could be a good one that's the one I had in mind I also have this big strip how many of this do I have one two three because it needs to be pretty big that would be, I think, really nice, I think. Or maybe not. I'm not sure anymore. Okay, one, two, three, four. I believe I don't have one last one of that. I do have this, which is pretty. The cards don't have to be all the same. I like them to be, you know, to fit with the color scheme because of the fact that I'm selling them as a kit, as a set, I should say. So it's, I find it nicer when they're, they match. Kind of, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be a perfect match. And it would make me use my leftovers, which is always a really good thing. And of course, now I can't put the leftovers back together because all the little bits are like stacked up on one side and my bin won't close. Oh, way to go. That's just like so many. That could be pretty. Okay, I think I can actually close it. Yay! Barely, but I did it. Oh. And I just saw ouch that at the very bottom there's a piece of cardstock that could be used okay so I've pulled out enough can't find something with this I'll never find anything that could be a fun accent because like I said they don't have to be all exactly the same and I like the texture on that piece of paper why oh why would I have little strips of paper like this and obviously I just put it there and I'm not gonna throw it away because you know why would I throw it away so this is very pretty it's some uh, Tim Holtz paper cardstock I really like it um, but I feel like I have so many other ones here this is too dark 
to be on top of that. Now I have so much paper. Could be this. Or... No, I don't like that. I don't like that either. Okay, so I'm down to using this or using that. I think I'm gonna go with that, which is now it's a big waste of time to pull everything out, but I still need to line the um, I still need to figure out the rest of the embellishments. So it's it's all gonna work out in the end. Okay, so do I have, I hope I had more than one, yeah. So we'll line this up. And of course I didn't line up quite right my card. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did for the inside which is to line it up like that. So let's cut all of these together. that aside to send with the uh, with the card so that it can be used for the lining of the sentiment maybe myself by doing it this way. I should have done it with less paper, but that's okay. That's okay. And just, okay, so that is there. And this put right over here. Okay, so those will go in the scrap. Okay, so we've got paper everywhere. Okay, so let's line up. Let's start layering. That's always the fun part of it. What's nice with doing this instead of postcard is that I don't have to do this like uh, so many, like glue so many uh, times with the glue stick and everything. I'm okay now with this. Okay, so here.
Okay, so we've got all of this done. Now, just thought it might be pretty to have some of this ribbon with it. That could be something to look into. Either that, or I still have my buttons. That could be pretty as well. And where's my twine? My roll that's coming undone. Just in case we decide that that's what we're going to do. So it's going to be a bit like last week's card if we do that, but... Okay, so then uh, we've got all of these prepped and they're starting to be like a lot more sturdy. And now I'm going to do... I guess... I would do this. I would do that. And I'm not gonna have enough if I do it that way. So let's let's do the cut this way first because otherwise I'm gonna run out of paper. And I'm not gonna have enough to do all the cards. Because this way I can use that, yeah. Gonna be better that way. So, we're gonna cut it here and cut over here. And then we can. Uh, Cut this and this. We'll see what I do with the the rest. Okay, so let's let's cut some of the owls. That's gonna help me figure out how we're gonna do this. Oh, I didn't, I don't think I said it, but I made um, some merchandise, some t-shirts, some new t-shirts in Teesprings. So if you look beneath my videos, there's uh, usually advertising for merchandise. And I've uh, made a design with this little guy. And uh, I think he's just so cute. So if you want some new t-shirt with my design, you can go and check it out. I think he's really adorable. Look at his face. This could be fun because it has the, uh, the embossing. Oh, 
cover the whole thing up. Somehow this feels crooked. Or maybe not. So let's take some measurements. I think this little piece is throwing me off. What you could do too, if you wanted, once you get the cards, is to frame them and you would have a little owl uh, artwork piece. Imagine, like, so you could put the sentiment like right there, and that would work. Do I want to add anything else? That's the question. I do like the texture of this. Okay, so we'll start gluing this down. Usually I do my my cars are much smaller, um, but depending on what the circumstances for your cards, sometimes it's better to have a bigger one, especially if you're um, giving it as with a group of people, and many of you need to sign it. You kind of want it to be bigger because otherwise. It doesn't work out very well. Okay, so here we go. So put this here. Uh, and yeah. So I think this will be this little guy. And here we go. And I will be putting the my stamp in the back. I could put some bling, but I kind of like the more natural feel of the card. That makes sense. So we could do one with with it this way, the paper. 
and then use part of that. That would be very pretty. That would be pretty. So let's use this little guy. And he looks like inquiry minds want to know what have you been up to? And inquiry minds want to know what have you been up to? <laughs> so my little owl is asking you, but it's a real question. <laughs> I'm very anxious for us to be able to get some vaccine over here. Oh man, it's taking forever. Just hope that we get them in time to be able to enjoy the summer. Be kind of nice. Kind of like him on music. And so here. I'll be curious to know which which is going to be your favorite card out of the the lot of them. I always love when you guys let me know. Da -da -da -da. And here's the next one. So this one went fast. Um, for this one, do we go this way? Or do we go the other way? Could go that way. And put this little guy. In case you're wondering, this paper is Nina paper, and that's always what I use for coloring with my Copics. You can see the Copics markers like bleed through, um, but they don't spread on the paper, which is what you want. Like you want it to bleed through and not like spread. If you use some papers that are very thin, um, you're you're not going to be able to color within the lines at all. And I did this, these little guys very large because I wanted to make sure that I had, maybe I could put it that way. And how about splitting it? make him a little, sh a little place to sit on. I kind of like that. Do I want to add anything else or do I leave it as that? feeling it. Sometimes you have to let the card speak to you and let it tell you what it wants. 
And like I said, I want my des my card design to be different. I don't want them to all look the same. So this way, each card feels like a, a unit, like part of the the card set, but at the same time, it's unique in its own way. And here we go. So we've got two left. And I've run out of Tim Holtz paper, except for those two little pieces, which obviously won't be enough. I change it up. Because I don't want to waste, I don't want to put a full page if I can help it. So how about let's try let's try something out. where you have mostly music. It's so funny because I see uh, the, the name and I, I start singing it in my head. I'm going to go with this one. Cut it. We'll cut off some of that. And take my measurements from there. So here, to about here. Let's cut off the name of the song. this I want to kind of hide the names of the songs I should go like that okay so that This so something like that, and then could put the little out like this, or could put no, I prefer that. Well, that would be pretty. He looks like he's singing music. Thank you. 
So there's that. And we've got one last one. Okay, so for the last one, I would like to use this piece of cardstock. So maybe, 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 maybe I'll do that. We'll layer it, like make it smaller. So that the other little piece that I'm going to be using is going to, it won't look strange. And, okay, and then we've got that little piece, which obviously we're going to use, but we also have some music pieces. That we could use. Mm, I think I prefer like that. Has more notes on it. And we're just gonna cut it. Uh, I'm gonna cut it there. So we'll have used a big sheet of the 12 by 12 um, Tim Holtz and some music sheets and some leftover cardstock, which is pretty cool. Here we go. And uh, put them over here. It feels better when he's sitting when you know, there's something to kind of anchor the little bird. Like the, the, like on this, there's the music. Uh, this is the line. This is the music as well. And the other one is kind of the line. So it kind of fits. So here's the last one. So I'm very, I'm very pleased with how these turned out. I, I really hope that you've enjoyed them. So these are all my my uh, cards. I will be including this. I'll even include this little piece. <laughs> so I'll include all of these uh, with the music paper. And I saw something here. There's that which would be pretty to put the sentiment. As well as this I think might be pretty. So I'll include all of these pieces with uh, with uh, my sentiments as well. So all of these will be added to the set of items that's being purchased. Whoops trying to make a bit of room because the cards are so big <laughs> oh, it's kind of hard to showcase them on on my desk okay so so we've got all of these cards uh, hopefully yeah you can see put this aside so all of these cards oh We've hidden his face. Here we go. And him too. So here are all the cards. I really love them. Like I said, I've, I will include this. Obviously it comes with the, the, ah, the envelopes to mail it out. 
and I will be stamping my uh, crafting Vicky uh, behind it and uh, yeah so these are all my originals that will be finding a new home um, I, I like being able to find good homes for my my little uh, little guys and uh, yeah I'm really really proud of these guys so if you are interested there are stickers in my store you can also find the, the digital images of these guys they have the colored version as well as the black and white in the store and this little guy is an exclusive for patreon so he's coming with um, the colored image as well as the black and white and two sentiments and that was part of the freebies that I've uh, offered on patreon and so by um, and it's included in the two dollar membership so you you get the two dollar membership the, you get the, the videos and all the past ones as well as this digital image um, included so I think it's a pretty pretty good deal so yeah, I hope you have an amazing week. Love you guys. Stay safe and sending you all positive uh, thoughts and everything and uh, looking forward to reading your comments. Bye!